there is life beyond mining because we all grew up with the mentality that diamond is the only solution. But being involved into agriculture has created an impact on me in my society and even my community as a whole. Today I want to take you to a small journey to Kono, one of our main districts in Sierra Leone, predominantly known for diamond mining. This has been the source of um, most of our conflicts in Sierra Leone, especially the civil war in the early 90s, because the government and also the rebels saw Kono as an area of economic resources. But because of these activities, especially the mining of diamonds, the soil are depleted and the area is no longer good for agricultural purposes. So here comes in the initiative of the Green Jobs, supporting participants who are currently employed under the Wage Employment Initiative. And these participants we have trained in specific skills, especially basic agronomic practices and also on land reclamation. Too. So you will get to meet some of these participants and also get to see what we are doing. The youth, we are synonymous to labor and uh, child mining, but youth must be given viable and uh, productive engagement. And that is what we saw into the Green Jobs project. The participants, they are all from different backgrounds. Some we are miners, some we are Okada riders, some have just been graduated from secondary school, some had gone to tertiary level. So we, we looked at their experience background and uh, we realized that this person can be able to change the lives of other people. And uh, based on their connection to agriculture, they are now participants for the green jobs. A lot of lands have been reclaimed and they are now being used as agricultural sites. This greenhouse will support us to do all year round production. We are also now preparing our seed beds for production as um, the rainy season will start in a couple of weeks and from the background you can already tell that uh, mining has already been existing and you can already see the soil how depleted it is and this was how this farm also looks like but um, from what we have been able to do as a project and also as a team with the Ministry of Agriculture and the other partners we have been able to reclaim this land and currently we are now producing vegetables from it. The green jobs, we don't only learn it, but we also implement it. Now I've learned I can plant a seed, I can nurture the seed, I can apply organic fertilizers to the seed because we don't apply chemicals. Agriculture has impacted something in me that what I was doing previously never did. This project has had a rippling effect for the youth in terms of not only improving their livelihoods but also the livelihoods of their family. We are here to support them, Mabunduka, to ensure that they have the necessary tools and the necessary skills to build a better, a better future. This project also has an element of apiculture which deals with um, beehives and, and, and honey production which is a, is a massive opportunity for the youth in terms of the local market, the export market also. So. When you are alone and you have children or maybe your husband do not have a job and you are the person that will take care of the house. So through by this job I'm very very happy because now I can partake in family issues. When there is a problem they can call me. Last they do not call me because I don't have money. But now I can earn a little one here, distribute it to my family, do my own house affairs. I'm an empowered woman now. Many young ladies had never had seen themselves as participants into youth activism. But today you realize at this farm site that the ladies are more than the boys. The UNFAO project is motivating women into more youth activism and more developmental issues. From when they have started, you now see the greenhouse, you now see the, the water being dug. Now there is uh, the farm shed, there is toilet, and uh, we also want to ensure that we get these structures and make the thing more interesting and motivating. It has impact in the community. Some of them have started to watch at us, like the way we are preparing the beds. They come sometimes, ask us some questions, 
and they even said that let us employ them. So they are really admire at the work that we are doing. And sometimes when we have a lot of work, we invite some youth to come and help us. We encourage them that they should go and make farm. I believe that in the next five years, I will be an agricultural ambassador. That is, I will go to my society and also implement the same thing that I've learned, call other youth to come on board so they can see the need for us to involve into agriculture so the society can benefit as a whole. Well.